2001 The Dark, uh, let's say Crystal? Yeah, 2001 The Dark Crystal. Huh. Making friends, even when you, Sam thought this might help. Aw, poor Sam. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them? And you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. They love those street fighters. So Sam is maybe a lesbian. X-Files, make sure you don't miss it so you can tape it. Seems Sam's interested in a girl. Or at least get to know her. Girl Scout. Role model. Uh, yeah. Yeah! Yeah, my family's gone and I'm dancing away the pain And I feel like the rockin' out is awesome! Do do do. Other side. Doop. No, I want Girl Scout. Girl Scout. God damn it. It's the book that Dad wrote, The Accidental Savior. Terry, hi man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor and hi-fi aficionado has too much review work to go around and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying blah 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 blah. Uh, include some issues, you mag using examples. Do it, Mike. Hi! Oh, Jesus, shut the hell up. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Airplane, Moonraker, man, the, the Robocop, Beetlejuice, Blade Runner, Director's Cut, JFK, more X-Files. Jesus. He likes those X-Files. Clash of the Titans. Got some good movies here. The Time Machine, Clue, Fantastic Voyage, Top Gun, Ghostbusters, Labyrinth. I've never seen Labyrinth. <coughs> The Andromeda Strain. So this guy likes some sci-fi. Obviously. Considering he wrote a book about saving JFK. Uh, uh, the Heaven at... <laughs> the Heaven. Heaven at the Edge of the World. Samantha Greenbrier. Grade 2. Story. The Turtle People. Part 1. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she had heard a cannon fire. Boom. I, it was the black pirate ship. She yelled. I thought we lost him at the horse island. The first mate said, looks like you thought too soon. Ah. The black ship came along the What the? That was some crazy thunder. Came along along the side. Captain Black himself came out the deck of the black ship. He yelled, Captain Allegro, you never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. We're a liar. Captain Allegro yelled back, Dead why? Do you keep honoring us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled, Well, stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world. You'll see the father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, now she said, and then the, the ship sailed towards the sunset at the end. Amazing. Uh, <coughs> close that ship. Close that ship. The weather looks bad outside. Close the ship. More tapes. Alright. <coughs> that lamp is askew. Alright. Well, that room down. Eh. Examine and pamphlet. United States Department of Agriculture. Eh. Coupons! Fuck that. Tortilla chips. 
That's pretty damn big. Pretty damn big. Huh. Oh, play record. Do do do. do. Reproductive system worksheet. Yep, menstrual cycle, testicles. Uh, the menstrual cycle. <laughs> Wait, what? I gotta read that. <laughs> I gotta read that. She wrote a. Below are two stories. The events are all out of order. Get a sheet of lined paper, write reproductive system worksheet number six at the top, then choose one of the two stories and rewrite it. Begin with a title and your name. Find a topic sentence, begin your paragraph, put the sentences in chronological order, make sure the last sentence is a good concluding statement. So, the menstrual cycle. It travels through the fallopian tube. The ovary releases the ovum. About two weeks later, since the lining of the uterus is not needed for pregnancy, it, be it comes out through the vagina. It is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. If the egg doesn't need a sperm, it dissolves. While the ovum is developing, the lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries, and the process begins again. An ovum starts to develop. Okay, so now she has to make a story around that and put the sentences in chronological order. <laughs> so it looks like, I guess she wrote like a uh, pretty, uh, okay, anyway. Okay, uh, the menstrual cycle, a novella. The early morning of September 1st, 1939 or 7, I can't tell. Essa Glatz stares out of the window as the train, er, of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Wielin in Poland. Wielin? Wielin? As the train rumbles along and the sun rises over the countryside, she can only think of her dear Borislav, the boy she had engaged to wed. Or she's engaged to one. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. As a strain <laughs> approaches its destination, her heart races. The lining of her uterus is getting thick and soft. As Essa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the, the gathered crowd. Then, there, her dear Boris. <laughs> she is still in uh, her, his baker's smock. He must have dropped his early morning duties as his father's shop at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart stops a beat. The ovary, <laughs> the ovary releases the ovum. It travels through the fallopian tube. <laughs> Over the wheezing of the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station. A whistling sound. Essa, her thoughts only a, <laughs> only a second faster than the bombs, reached out toward her, her, uh, her dear uh, Boris's, uh, wait, yeah, Bor dear Boris across the crowd. Their eyes look at the moment, uh, look and the moment freezes. I can't fucking read. The flash and smoke envelops him almost instantly. In the assault by German forces, almost 75% of the people in, the home, or in her hometown are killed. The rest, including Essa, and, for a time, Borislav, huddle in a half-destroyed church. He is blind. His legs are missing. Bandaged with torn bedsheets. Essa's egg will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. <laughs> About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of the uter <laughs> the uterus is not enough or not needed for pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. <laughs> Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries and the process begins again. It is incredible how the female body know <laughs> knows how to prepare for pregnancy. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm sorry, that was funny. Uh, world history. By no one. Hey, look, a light. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> what a smart ass. Hey, look, a bar. Anybody want booze? Bleh. Shots? Eh. And some soda. Bleh. Alright. Oh, there's something in here. Man, these guys are just hiding publisher letters everywhere. Dear Mr. Greenbuyer, I wrote to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will not er, will be unable to uh, publish your follow-up to the Accidental Pariah, despite having low sales of the Accidental... Or, yeah, follow-up to the Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales of the Accidental Savior, we went ahead with the publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. 
However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and our stewardship of the series must end here. Aww. It's been our pleasure working with you. So that is exactly as I figured out. Like, he's writing reviews now at this point, so... His, uh... I guess the third book. Third book did not get published. That sucks for dear old dad. <gasps> Ugh. Another closet. Ah. Uh, he has a bunch of copies of it. Eh, eh. There's the accidental pariah. The accidental savior. That's pretty cool. Wait, no, the the two were Yes. Was it the third that was called the accidental savior? Uh, follow up to the accidental pariah, despite the low sales of the accident. Okay, so Savior and Pariah were published, the other one was not. <coughs> that blows. Poor Dad, he can never get a break. This is a weirdly, like, eh. Weirdly, uh, oh, what's with all these coupons? Lip balm. Weirdly laid out house. <coughs> Read note. Hey, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house, still this afternoon, uh, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home, too, so hopefully that's fine. Write back and leave this in my locker if you still, wanna, if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after, this, after 6th. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See? What the fuck? <laughs> See you there. Uh, then I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. Kamehame. Oh! Okay. L. Oh. So you know what they say about the best life plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. Uh-oh. She's coming over tomorrow. Uh-oh. Seems whatever happened between Sam and Lonnie is not good. Please tell Mom and Dad sorry about that stuff that's missing. So, something tells me she let Lonnie come over. And... I mean, because the fucking laser disc thing is gone. So, they stole the laser disc. Hmm. I hope Lonnie didn't do anything bad to Sam, because there's that call on the thing. No, that's to Sam, though. I don't know. That door's locked as well. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell Mom and Dad. The attic. Uh-oh. Well, time to go to the attic! Shit. That looks like a fucking... From far away, that kind of looked like a figure. Well, this is interesting. Nothing in the side things. So what was the message again? Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. 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 Hmm. Where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. So that's Lonnie. That has to be Lonnie. I don't know who else the fuck it would be. Up the stairs we go. See what creepiness lies up here. Whatevs. Eh. This is getting depressing. Controlled burns scheduled for Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern blah 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 blah. Uh, okay, wait. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to wildfires in drier, uh, drier, uh, drier months. I thought it was supposed to be a place for some reason. The operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel involved, said senior conser conservationist, or conservationist Janice Greenbrier. Yay, go mom! Mom is in the paper. Mom is in the paper. Throw a deck of cards down the stairs. Alright. 
All right. Grab comb. Brushing my hair. Bloop. Okay. Monday. Couples br brushing. What? Couples bra brawling. Couples bro br brasking. Couples brasking. Wednesday. Cooking class. Take a, a parse. Take an apron. Oh, there we go. Take apron. Friday. Ballroom dancing. Monday. Couples br br bowling. That's what it is. No? Yeah, bowling. Couples bowling. Jesus Christ. That looks like an R. Um, Wednesday, cooking class, ballroom dancing, couples bowling, blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing every fucking week. Okay, let's get for this one. Uh, cook the big meal for Jerry and Sam. So Jerry's the dad's name, right? Yeah, Jerry. All right. Oh, shit. Radiation area. Oh, that must be a room. Somebody's room. Bratmobile. Body mouth. For Sam. Oh. Did it fall out? Oh, it's empty. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little. And yeah, it was. Other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand psycho house tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. So wait, Daniel is a girl? I'm confused. Daniel called again. He wa oh no, he, he wants his Nintendo game back. Sternly worded letter. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbuyer, Briar, am 17 years old and am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compared with Katie, who is only three, three years older than me, and yet you allow her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe, or to totally safe, city on my own like a human being and since you may also remember that I have my own car now you can't really stop me warmest regards your daughter Samantha all right so she definitely ran off with uh, with um, Lonnie so I'm assuming this is my sister's room dunk dunk I don't want eh. where's the cassette tape there it is Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, too. Cool smoke. Wow. Fuck you. What a rebel. Stole that shit, too. That's good now. Shut up. Can I put the Nintendo game in there? Nope. Alright, so they took the Nintendo. Got some funky looking drawings there. More Nintendo games. Super Spitfire. Uh, it seems that uh, they missed some games. Journey of the Crystal. Eh, go away. No. Eh. Nothing else there. Huh. Oh, enter combination. Let's see here. In a party, I haven't had that much to drink, Jody Foster. How many fingers am I holding up? Ha <laughs> Uh, you better not have been reading my secret diary again. Here you go, Mitten. Have some pate. Gross. Meow. Yeah, it's Nev Campbell. Uh, okay. I don't know the combination. I bet I can find it somewhere, though. Board game. Got your number. Are you going to dance with anyone? <laughs> eh, open. Th 
The King's Labyrinth, Chapter 2. Captain Allegra. Ah, so she, like, took the story she had as a kid and fucking wrote out, like, a full length. Wow! Like father, like daughter. I'd read it, but... Nope. What's that? Holy Bible. Gotta love the Bible. Alright. Nothing else in here. Sonic Boom 94! May 7th. <clears throat> Alright, um... Plate. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Mrs. Blacklock. Laylock. Oh, cool. English creative writing. Three students from each track will be offered a full scholarship for the first year of reading. Hey! So, Sam had everything going for her, but then fucked it up by probably stealing shit, obviously. She said, don't go in the attic, though, so that'll probably be the last place I go. If I can find the fucking combination to her locker. Eh. Eh. What is that? It's Steggy! Steggy Saurus! Steggy Saurus is gone. Okay. Let's see what she has under her bed. Brochure. Alright. This is the one me and my dad are building. Wanna go for a ride when it's done? Eh. Read slip. Uh, subject shop one, metalwork engraving, C minus, oh no, poor Sam. Year 11. Not a challenging assignment, metal plaque for family, portrait, reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents, names I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on edges, show more pride in work. Aw. So Sam is losing interest in schooling. X-Files thing. <laughs> AIDS in Africa. Oh no. She's becoming one of them independent children. It's like, I gotta save the world, Mom. You're only five. Uh, oh, a messy room. Groove, Kurt Cobain. Aw. Oh. Poor Kurt Cobain. Uh, crumpled up pieces of paper. Uh, disciplinary referral. Oh, no. <coughs> Miss, uh, Mr. Benchley observed Miss DeSoto. Okay, so it was. DeSoto. Wait. This is a different thing. Student named Yolanda DeSoto. Never mind. Okay. So, Mr. Benchley observed Mr. DeSoto, or Miss DeSoto, wearing a t-shirt with an accept unacceptable image on the front, a large beer can labeled Pabst Blue Ribbon. Miss DeSoto went, uh, was sent to the guidance counselor's office. Uh, given an option to turn her shirt inside out, change uh, into a shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day, she chose suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer and no answering machine. Must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. Okay. Student signature, Lonnie. Okay. Oh, Lonnie DeSoto. Okay, so the picture was Lonnie. She was in the army at one point, or at least ROTC or something like that in the school. Huh, what was the date on that? 94, so... Grade 12. So she was the 12th grader. And... Um... Let's see here. Eh. Year 11 doesn't have a date on it. Um... Just trying to figure out when Sam, if Sam's like ahead or behind. Don't know. Well, I want to figure out the combination. Damn it. Might be in a different room. Her goggles and rubber <laughs> Let's try one, two, three, four. Doubt that'll work. Alright, she's not that stupid. 1017, Sonic 1017. Maybe it's her favorite radio station. 101. Nope. Um. Any other clues that I'm missing here? 
Eh, eh, suck. All right, well, I'll go back to that room if I find the combination somewhere. It's a fucking huge ass house. There's a slip of paper over here. Oh Jesus. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Wow, okay. He's just getting more and more fucked up as time goes on. Let's see. Oh, there's a slip right here. Hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction? Uh, after school at the Coliseum. It came out last week, and then Todd won't shut up about it. Hey, it's, it's a good movie. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight uh, for a change, but it can ju I can just ditch uh, on it probably. <clears throat> what time? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore, I guess. Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Blah, blah, blah. 715, don't blur. <laughs> Lonnie has pretty good, like, uh... Oh, cool drawings. Haha, <laughs> alright, see you then. Alright, well. So she's skipping out on the dinner that the mom... What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Wait. Wild color. Red right hand. Semi-permanent haircut. Okay. Woo! For a second, I was getting worried. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. Mm. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, you're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. Ah, Sam's first love. What do I have at this point? Just the key. All right, all right. That, uh, for a second, I thought that was blood, and kind of scared me because I was like, "Oh fuck, what happened?" Because I don't want to have like. For Sam to have murdered the family. Is that clicking? Grab postcard. Dear Mom, Dad, and Sam, I am in the channel! This is my second passage through the channel! I'm on my way back from London, this time to go to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel! London was great, Dad. I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you. Whoops. If you've, uh, if you always wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. The channel! Love you all, Katie. Um, oh, it actually landed back on the table. Bugs off the hook. Pictures of clothes, pictures of clothes, pictures, 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 and pictures of clothes. Somebody rummaged through these drawers. Oh, barf. Condom! Alright. Fuck off, phone. Uh, mom's purse. Looks fine to me. Earth, wind, and fire. Jesus. Somebody left in a fucking hurry. Aww. Me ten. That's actually what it said. <laughs> oh, mitten, when I said oh. Mom and Dad's bathroom. Mom and Dad's huge ass master bathroom. Got a bunch of shit there. Got some band aids, cups, and shit. Brushes. Reading material. After the honeymoon, rediscover your spouse personally, spiritually, and sexually. Blah. Candles. All right. Not much going on in here, but mitten the channel. So the one fucking closet with the light on. 
Escape from Ghost Mansion. Play. Watercolor technique. Okay. Ah, in our family portrait, we look pretty happy. Something, something, something. Let's go back to that. <laughs> yeah. 